Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bravely Default! Since last time, I've rearranged my party as I have listed in the video description. Nothing too extraordinarily different from what I had before, except I've got stop immunity on everyone, because, well, the next dragon we're going to be fighting uh, can inflict stop with its breath attack, so you definitely want to be prepared for it. And there's very few other ways of, uh, well, other efficient ways of dealing with it. But let's see. Okay, the next keystone that I want to look for is right over here for boss time. Here it comes! Against Mizuchi. What an amazing name for anything. <laughs> but, all right, so let's go uh, default there. Anyas. Uh, Mizuchi is already weak to thunder, so I want to take advantage of that. Let's see, ring a bell. Definitely want to get the rampart going there. And let's see, Adia. Let's get one more for ring a bell there. To, oh, wait. Um, oh, right. I already had a second one. Uh, carry on! For some reason, I thought I didn't uh, brave to get that second uh, one more for you on ring a bell there. Yeah, you saw all those little text pop-ups there. That's indicating that stop immunity did what it w was supposed to do. But if it does another breath attack after this, I could be in some trouble there. So we'll see what we can do. Ow, quit it. Okay, Anyas, I would only want to default at this point. I don't need to have her dispel anything. But let's see. Okay, yeah, let's get Ring a Bell back in the positive BP there. Okay, now Anyas would need to uh, dispel herself. Okay, so now let's have Tiz get going on stealing from the guy, get a good prayer going, and wait a minute, what shield do I have equipped? No, I should have the Ice Thing shield equipped there in the event that I need ice protection. Okay, so we got double uh, what is that? Stealing there. Okay, Anyas, let's see. I can... Yeah, I'm gonna need her to dispel herself. So, we'll see what we can do with that. Let's go there. And then keep going with Thundaga. Unfortunately, if the dragon attacks her again, she will probably die. So, we wanna watch out for that. But, I don't want Ring a Bell just using Ramparts for one character. Especially Anyas, who is not extraordinarily important. Okay, well, we got the one. That'll be helpful. Okay, let's see. So you've got Water Weak on you, but I'm just going to re-up on Rampart now anyway, since I've got two characters who are left vulnerable there to it. Or to the boss's attacks there. Okay, let's see. Let's get another Rampart going there. Now, what I like to do with ring -a -Bell is I like to try and keep him at 2 BP as, uh, as much as possible. So that way, if the boss does go into, well, pitsy boss mode there... Oh, wait, no, I need you to default. But yeah, if the boss does go into pissy boss mode and starts spamming breath over and over and over again, I will be able to outlast it for as long as possible. But, okay, so we only got one person who's hit with that, so why don't you just default, and let's see, Dia, yeah, let's have you uh, go on the offense now. I don't want ring -a -Bell to go over 2 BP, because I, I would want Adia to be able to use one more for you on him when he has 2 BP, and I need to uh, use Rampart there at the same time because I can't guarantee that Adia will act after ring a bell based on how my agility is set up here but okay well we'll just have oh wait a minute I don't need Tiz to default he's got the ice flame shield what am I thinking oh but uh yeah we'll be fine like this that'll be fine but yeah uh, dispel I think that removes prayer although now that I think about it I'm not sure hmm but in any case, okay, ring a bell's at 2 BP. We will just leave him alone. Maybe get Thundaga going. 
going there. How's your HP looking? Okay, yeah, we've got a long way to go there. But let's see, we still got those dragon fangs that I need to get. Okay, let's see. How are you looking now? Okay, you've got prayer going still. So, yeah, we can just keep on going all out. Though I do need Ring a Bell to help out. Yeah, someone was suggesting, H.C. Bailey, why don't you use BP recovery on Ring a Bell to help well, keep his BP up whenever you get hit by a status ailment or something like that. And uh, part of the reason for that is because... I don't really have the BP to spare, especially against a boss that has the ability to inflict a status ailment on it where I'm already really tight on space for my support abilities there. But also because I like to keep Ring a Bell at 2 BP a lot of the time. And the BP that I would get from BP recovery wouldn't... I wouldn't get the full benefit of it as a result of that. Let's see, okay, everyone's got Rampart, so I don't care about that. We'll just keep on going here. But yeah, another reason is, like, early in the battle, yeah, that could be nice to get a jump on... Oh, no, I don't need to do that. Just uh, the default thing. But yeah, like, I could get a jump on building up my BP really quick. But if the boss is inflicting a status ailment on me at the start of the battle, like uh, Ice Week or Water Week there, I'm already in the clear because the boss didn't attack me or, or didn't use its breath attack in at the beginning of the round. So I wouldn't... Uh, it wouldn't... It's like I'm winning more because I've already won at that point. So it's like, why bother there? But it is a thought, though. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go like that. But yeah, like, I might consider BP recovery for, like, a Dia instead of an HP boosting support skill there. That could be something interesting to do. But, okay, let's see. Yeah. Having a really hard time stealing today. Hmm. Okay. One thing I neglected to notice when I was recording the previous episode was when I used the spell on Ring a Bell that cancels his uh, sword magic effect. Although it will probably wear off sooner or later anyway. But it's just something to keep in mind there. Whoop, no, not that. Double Fulman Shard there. So yeah, eventually I will need Ring a Bell to use Thundaga sword magic again. Do I have? Yeah, I've got prayer going. It's just taking me an unusually long time. Okay, well, we can just do the same thing that we did in the previous round there. I need Ring a Bell to default. As long as you default and you don't have Water Week on you, you'll be able to uh, survive either another physical attack or a breath attack that also would hit you. Okay, let's see. Tiz! Normally, I would default, or use Rampart here. Yeah, I should. I was thinking about not doing it, since Tiz has the Ice Flame Shield. But, uh, now nah, we've got too many characters who have lost it. So, we'll just keep on going there, then. Okay, so let's get Thundaga going. Rampart. And, let's see. I'm, I'm thinking with the Dia. I need to restore some of Agnes's MP. So let's go, let's see, Ether and a High Potion? Yes, okay. I wasn't quite sure if that was the Quarter Elixir compounding recipe there. Yes, there we go. Okay, so now, let's see, Tiz. All I really need to do is just dispel him. I don't even need prayer anymore, so we'll be fine there. Now, one thing about the setup that I'm using for this boss, uh, particularly relating to Agnes there... How much HP you got? Okay. Yeah, um, I wasn't able to give enough speed or agility boosting stuff to Agnes in order to guarantee that she will act before the boss. She should still do that, but it's 
pretty close. So there is the possibility that the boss could attack someone before I get the spell on Water Week. Although, it's not an extraordinarily big deal, but it's just something that could become a problem later on. But so far, we're doing all right. Let's see. I might be able to kill the guy in the next... No, I'd have to wait one more round. I would need Tiz to be contributing on... Uh, what is it? On the offense there. So... Yeah, why don't we just wait a little bit on that? Let's see. We're doing good otherwise, though. Hmm. Okay, let's go with that. Let's see. Ring a bell. We've got... What is it? Giant Slayer. Let's get that going. And then I'll have Adia use just a regular X Potion on Tiz there. Keep him healed up. Let's see, once I get him down below 50,000, though, then I can probably afford to go all out, even without Rampart on everyone. I'm just... well... hmm... Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, we'll be fine. Okay, first things first, let's uh, remove all that stuff. We gotta get paste going up on Tiz there. Where is it? There you go. And then, I want to use the Raikiri, although you could use the Trident, any Thunder Elemental weapon will do, but the Raikiri has a much higher, uh, what is it, M much higher crit rate, so, oh, I used too many BP. Okay, let's start over again. But yeah, with the crit rate, I might be able to, well, get a crit with the, the Raikiri, there. So that's why I like using that one instead, if I have the option. Let's see. Ring of Bell still has Thundaga Magic Sword going, so we should be good there. I'm not necessarily counting on Tiz getting Godspeed Strike in time, because his speed is relatively low, though I usually don't really, well, I don't ever really need him to act before the boss, unless I'm about to go all out, like I am here. So, getting the boss below 50,000 HP should give me enough of a buffer to be able to get everything in before the boss can attack again. And then, yeah, quadruple Pantheon's Wrath. We should be able to finish him off before he gets another turn. So, let's see, Ring a Bell and Adia could deal about 40,000 damage together. And then I just need Anya to uh, finish him off. I could give Anya a little more speed if I got rid of Pierce Magic Defense, but she wouldn't even be able to scratch the boss then. So yeah, the boss just has a lot of Magic Defense there. So that's the only way I can really make her functional there. And yeah, as you can see, everything worked out just fine there. All right. Two down. <laughs> you won. You have defeated my guardian. Very well. I shall grant you the water keystone. How are you doing that? Is it just like a hidden compartment on the keystone or whatever? Or on the statue or whatever that thing is? All right. Four more to go. But, all right. Okay, we're done here. Yeah, we need to uh, rest up after that one. The next one is pretty similar to Salamander. There's no status ailment that I'm concerned about. So I can pretty much go back to the setup that I had before, just a different element for us to exploit. So let's see what we got here. Let's see what tis. We don't need a status immunity anymore, so why don't we get a bit more speed? I also don't want to give BP recovery to Tiz, because uh, his damage is dependent on speed. So BP recovery, eh, I don't really need that on him. Let's see. With Agnes, though, she does need as much speed as possible. Just to stay ahead of the boss there, so I can't give it to her either. 
But let's see. Okay, so with Ring a Bell, yeah, well, let's give him a little more speed there. And let's see. That ought to be good there. And with Adia there, though, I'm going to do something a little different there. With her, let's give her BP recovery instead of HP 10% up like I did against Salamander there. And hey, it couldn't hurt. I mean, I've already got all the speed and damage buffs that I need on sports skills. So, yeah, why not? Thanks for uh, suggesting that, viewers. I honestly didn't really think of using BP recovery as intended in that regard. I use, I use it later on as it was probably not intended. Now, I'm equipping the Dark Shield just because it has better stats, not because of an elemental protection or anything like that, but everything there is good. Let's see, I do need the Rod of Fire for the next boss. That's why I bought a couple more of those earlier. But otherwise, we're looking good there. Let's see, keep the Rune Blade going. You're good there. I do need some more Rods of Fire. Oh, no, not that one. I know, they kind of look the same. Let's see. Okay, yeah, let's get a red cap going. And let's see. Yeah, we're good there. Okay, and what else was there? Oh, yeah, how many uh, phlogistons do I have? Let's see, 21? Mm, yeah, that should be good enough. We'll be fine. I was thinking about buying more of those because we need fire elemental stuff coming up here. Unfortunately, there are not a whole lot of elemental... What are they? Elemental katanas. So, I have to take whatever... Well, whatever weapon I've got, really. Okay, let's go to... No, wait. Hammer and Ruins would be a little closer there. That The, uh... Well, there's a keystone around here. Let's see. And I'll probably go a little longer on the episodes at this point because the boss fights take a while and I don't want to have like seven or eight episodes with primarily boss fights as the content so I'd like to kind of crunch it down a little bit there sometimes the boss fights are not as tricky like this one for boss time here it comes against the wyvern this is the wind elemental version of the guy and it is weak to fire so let's put faraga to use there or i think it's pronounced fireaga in this game at least that's how they pronounce it i think okay let's get where is it rampart going on everyone and one more for you ring a bell oh wait no i need two of those right there you go Yeah, look at that damage. Especially when we can uh, pierce that. Let's see, Anya's. Yeah, let's just have her default for now, since the rampart is shield is down. But I can at least start building up some DP to ring a bell. Okay, let's see. Okay, now, yeah, now, or yeah, you can go on the offense because I'm gonna reestablish rampart there, and let's just get one more for ring a bell there, so that way he can possibly use Rampart again, but I think we're in pretty good shape at this point. Most of the dragons have... Oh, we got BP recovery there on Adia. You see that? So, yeah, now we can get a little more stuff going on. But, yeah, uh... Damn, I lost my train of thought there. But, whatever. Okay, let's see. Yeah, same thing as usual. Let's uh, use prayer. Oh yeah, now I remember what I was thinking about. Uh, yeah, most of the dragons have a status ailment that they can inflict on you that I need to deal with one way or the other. But yeah, I'm fighting the dragons that I am now because they're the relatively easy ones. Let's do that now. Get that out of the way before the more difficult ones. Okay, so let's see. We need... Let's get one more on Ring of Bell. That'll get him up to 2 BP. And then I can spend the rest of my turns using Bomb Arms or whatever I've got. Phlogistons. Yeah, we got a couple of those. Let's throw what I've got. Yeah, unfortunately, since... Uh, what is it? I don't have... 
like anything else that boosts fire elemental damage. It's not like the thunder elemental damage that I can boost with like the lambent cat or something. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, I'm probably gonna need you to default. And yeah, I need Anyas to dispel that. Let me see if that actually removes prayer though on him. I forget how exactly that works. How's our rampart looking? We're looking good. Okay, let's get Fire Guys going. And yeah, another bomb arm there. Too bad there's not a compounding recipe for this spell. That could be interesting. But no, no. Ow! That hurt. Okay, let's see. Yep, the spell got rid of prayer there, so. There is actually a, a buff that doesn't get removed. By Dispel, and that's the uh, double max HP buff that you can get from a uh, compounding recipe. Although I don't need it right now, I'll do something with that eventually. But let's see, okay, hmm. Okay, yeah, let's get Fire Guard going. Let's see, Ring a Bell, we need Rampart again. I would like to heal up Tiz, but I don't have the time at the moment, so we'll just, uh wait for a better opportunity. I'll need to use the X-Potion compounding recipe on Tiz since he's lost quite a bit of HP there. Wow, that BP recovery is coming in handy there. All right. But we still need to steal. Uh, okay, yeah, let's keep going there. Let's see, ring a bell, just default. Oop, no, not that much. Okay, hmm. All right, let's uh, heal Tiz then. Let's see, Ether and just a regular potion, I believe. Yep. Even though that says X potion there, it heals 3,000 HP instead of 1,500 like a regular consumable X potion. Hmm. Usually, what I like to do with these consumable items is I always like to hold on to at least one of them just to have it there. Not for any, like, real practical reason. Just to have one of everything, if I can get that. I'm not crazy! Okay, how are we looking? Not too good there. Hmm, Anya's. Hmm. Yeah, dispel yourself and hope it works out. So far, it's been working out. Let's see, we still got Fire Gun Magic Sword, so now we can have Ring a Bell join in on the offense with Giant Slayer. Sounds like a pro wrestling move or something. Let's see, well, we're getting there. Okay, now we need some uh, help on the defense there. Okay, ring a bell. Where are you? There you go. Yeah, too bad I can't afford to equip BP recovery on more party members. Hey, all right! Later on in the game I will, but not right now. My levels are... I am actually very underleveled for <laughs> fighting the dragons at this point in the game. So my speed stat isn't quite up to par. But, okay, let's see. We are... Oh, uh, hmm. Anya's is getting a little light on MP. And I'm going to need her to use a bit more. I'm thinking if I want to use one of my turbo ethers. Probably not. How's my supply looking? I have been using quite a few regular ethers. Hmm. No, I think we're good. We can, uh... Yeah, restore some of her MP because we're getting ready to finish this guy off. So yeah, you use the high potion with the ether, you get the quarter elixir. If you use just a regular potion, you get the X potion there. So, just something to keep in mind. And... Yeah, there we go. And... Yeah, that ought to be good. I was about to say, wait a minute, did I forget about Rampart? 
That's the worst thing you can do against these bosses. Okay, let's see. Hmm, can I kill the guy? I think I can. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, Tiz, you just default in the event of a worst-case scenario. We still got Fyraga Magic... Oh, no, not Rampart. Yeah, we still got Fyraga Magic Sword on Ring and Bell there. And Dia, you go with Double Flow Distance. And that should be good. But then again, we already have... Uh, uh, what's it? Rampart on three of my party members. So we should be fine regardless. Haha! -ha! Gotcha! Oh, what's that one do? I don't know! I'd have to check that. You won. Maybe that's the one. There's a support ability I know that like boosts your stats by like five or ten percent every round or something like that. I, f I don't know if that's the one, but you have defeated my guardian. Very well. I shall grant you the Wind Keystone. Hey, all right. All right. Three more to go. So, are all these keystones the same color as the dragons? Are these dragon diamonds? Is that where they come from? No. No, pro well, I hope not. I'm... Hopefully I'm just thinking of another game there, but... Hey, hey, all right. More items. Awesome. Well, we're getting there on that, but that does remind me... Yeah, let's actually uh, get back in the ship there because, yeah, let's do a little more... Uh, what was that? Uh, let's do a little bit more with Narende. See if I can't get some more villagers going. Man, that boss fight went a lot faster. <laughs> Partially thanks to BP recovery there when I can afford to equip it. But I think the remaining bosses I won't be able to. Because they all have stat... Well, one of them has a status ailment that I can't use a support skill for, so maybe I could afford to use it there. But, uh, yeah. First things first. Let's, uh, update data. Hopefully get a few more villagers. And I'm just gonna... Uh, what is it? Try to finish off as many of the remaining shops as I can. I should be able to... What is it? finish most of them off, I would imagine, but I'm going to try and distribute them evenly among the remaining shops since I, yeah, I don't especially care about any one particular one over another there. But can we defeat more of the toughest dragons of m them all? Find out next time on Let's Play Bravely Default! Oh, what do we got going on here? Oh, right. Oh, is that the one? Some people were saying there was a uh, nemesis here. Or that you could steal elixirs from those special ones. Hmm, it might be one of those guys. One of those mammons. I don't know. But, uh, well, I'll, I'll check it out eventually. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.